Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Hey wonderful people, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I achieved this kinky hairstyle. Let me know what you guys think in a comment below and please hit that subscribe button. Let's get straight into this video. <laughs> so guys today's hairstyle is gonna be very simple very cute and very easy to achieve for this hairstyle i'll be using the shine and jam um, edge control and i'll be using some rubber bands because i want to do the rubber band method and i also found some marley hair that i wanted to use but guys i wish i didn't use it because i feel like the texture of the marley hair is so different to the silk and i mean the soft and silk hair but anyways i'll get into that so i'm gonna go ahead and section my hair as you guys saw i part from ear to ear and then i will be doing a middle part in so i went ahead and part straight in the middle so i'll be starting with the back as you guys can see i'm just gonna go ahead and section the back and like i said i'm doing the you know rubber band method because i want this hair to be a bit full i'm gonna go ahead and um start with four at the back usually i'll start with three if i'm doing a medium part in but i'm gonna do four because i want it to be a bit full as well um as you guys can see i also used my phone to record because usually i don't have a mirror um at the back or you know at the front i can't see what i'm doing so usually i just use my phone this is just a trick that i <laughs> that i use i know you guys saw that but just ignore that part but this is just like a trick that i use to kind of show me how i'm sectioning my hair and if the partings are looking okay you know my partings are not going to be perfect because yeah it's not easy to part your own hair but But yeah, as you guys can see, I just go ahead with the rubber bands and I'm just, you know, holding my hair. And like I said, I started with four. Usually when whatever you start with is how you basically section your hair. So the next line is going to be like five. And I'm going to make sure when I'm parting it, it has to fall in between. So now I've come to the front. And I'm just going to be doing the same thing, which is just to, you know, section my hair and hold it with the rubber bands. So once I finish, you know, sectioning my hair, I believe I have 60 partings um, on my head because, like I said, I wanted it small. So I went for like, I think 57 to 60 partings. So that's how much I have on my, you know, on my head. <laughs> so this is how it's looking. I actually tried, guys. I feel like I did so well. This is the back. Like I said, you need to make sure when you're parting that your, you know, the partings fall in between each other so that there will be no gaps. So I had to go get um, more hair. This is a soft and silk um, kinky hair. Um, I really prefer this type of hair more than the Mali hair because the Mali hair was not giving me what I wanted. It was just not soft. It was just not giving me like a flawless twist i don't know i don't know if that makes sense but this is the mali hair that i'm using right now what i did was i kind of did um braiding on the um, side of my hair i don't know if that makes sense but guys my explaining is so bad <laughs> but i went ahead and literally braid the corners of my hair just because i accidentally cut my hair when i was taking out my um soft locks so for this part i literally braided the hair with the mali my hair with the mali hair just because i felt like when i used the rubber band and i wanted to do the crochet method it was literally falling out so i had to just braid it 
and then for the rest i went ahead and did the crochet method like you guys can see so i make sure the pin is open and then i just and you know insert the hair and then i close the pin then i pull the hair into the base of my hair making sure it's under the you know rubber bands and then i pull one side and then i literally make sure it's even on each side and then i separate my natural hair into two and then i pull gummy edge control on my natural hair to make sure it blends properly and it goes inside the the um the twisting hair so as you guys can see i'm just adding the edge control i'm just using the gummy edge control for this section and then i start twisting everyone has a different way of twisting this is my way of twisting i make sure i twist each side and then flip it over on each side i don't know if that makes sense but i make sure i twist and then flip twist and then flip so that's how i do my twist everyone does twist differently but that's how i do mine i guess because it's like a twist in hair it doesn't really have to be perfect i don't think there's a specific way to do it but this is just how i do mine so i go ahead and do this for the whole thing so i'm gonna be showing you guys again you know step by step So this is such a cute and easy hairstyle you can do this on your kids you can do it yourself like it's very easy if you can't do the you know braiding method then you can go ahead and just do what i'm doing which is the crochet method you can also do the braiding method that's another way as well if you don't want too much tension on your hair or whatever just go ahead and do the normal braiding method um so i'm literally just repeating the same thing make sure you open it the reason why you separate your hair into two is just so that it kind of like you're able to attach it into the you know the extensions so i just go ahead and add you know some gummy just to make sure everything just you know goes into the you know extension easily and i just make sure i twist all the way to the end so as you guys can see i'm literally using two strands of the um soft and silk hair i go ahead and separate it into two and then i flip it over on each side just so that it's even and the ends are still a bit sharp like this as you guys can see because when you're twisting it you need the ends to be sharp you don't want it to be I don't know if that's the right word that i'm using you just need it to be a bit um sh like straight maybe not sharp but you need it to be straight so that it's easier for you to twist the end so that it it, it kind of secure because you don't want it to unravel so you need to make sure you straighten the end just like how you pull expression so you don't want the sharps to be i mean you don't want the ends to be sharp so you would want to like pull it to make sure it's long enough to twist it so this is it this is how it's looking as you guys can see i'm gonna go ahead and you know take some of the part that i used the mali hair and used some of the the soft and silk at the front so i did take some of the mali hair out and use the soft and silk hair at the front and i left the back with the mali hair because the back don't really matter but yeah and now i'm just gonna go ahead and curl the ends because i feel like if i don't curl the ends it's not gonna give me the vibe that i want yeah so i make sure i go ahead and curl the ends and i'm using this 
like rollers or whatever they're called to, to you know obviously curl my hair and then i just got away and put them in hot water which i didn't show you guys but i did put them in hot water and as you guys can see as i'm taking it out the cows are bouncing like it's giving cows <laughs> so um, i'm gonna go ahead and also trim the ends just to take away any sharp ends or whatever and i just go ahead and trim it and now i'm gonna go ahead and add some mousse this is the beach waver um co company and this is the their bread balm this was gifted to me not by the company but yeah so it was gifted to me by my partner <laughs> so um i just go ahead and just put this mousse and i just apply it everywhere to make sure that you know i don't have no flyaways and everything is laid and i'll be using the mousse to put this on my edges before i go ahead and start styling my edges i just apply this um guys if you guys can hear noise that's just my son at this point i'm just gonna have to do this voiceover with him making noise so if you guys can hear him my apologies so i just go ahead now and make sure i use the gummy edge control just to style my baby hair you guys know i love a simple baby hair so i'm just gonna go ahead and just you know style it to my usual taste you guys know what i like already i like a simple baby hair so i'm just gonna go ahead and just style my baby hair so this is how my edges are looking i told you guys i just love it when it's simple and cute now i'm using the ors holding spray just to give my edges a bit of an extra hold this is what i usually do to keep my edges on longer and then i just went ahead and used the sheen spray just to give it some shine and this is the final look guys when i tell you guys the curling the ends just makes sense yeah it's giving me goddess like i always say like these type of hairstyles just give me goddess babe so i went ahead and added bits of a bit of accessories which is the clip that says goddess you guys know so i just went ahead and add the clip just to you know give it a bit of detail but this is how it's looking this is how the back is looking as well i feel like i should have used a hot flannel just to lay the back a bit more with hot water but it's fine so you can do different hairstyles with this twist and you can just make it fashionable and it's still giving okay let me know what you guys think in the comment below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on your notification bell to get notified for whenever i do post a new video let me know what you guys think and i'll see you all in another video bye